Okay, today's project is changing the plug-in on the dryer and outlet plug-in. So, what you got to do first, you have to turn off the breaker. Okay, I've already turned off the breaker. The breaker I turned off, that one right there. I had to turn it off whenever the plug-in melted, so it's been off ever since. So, for first, before you do anything with electricity, you find out what breaker it goes to, turn it off. If you can't figure it out, use a flashlight on your job and hit the main switch. That way there's zero electricity. What you got to get is one of these right here to test to see if electricity. This right here has power going to it. I know this because it runs my washer. Put one in the hot. Get to where you can see it better. One into the cold. And you see, there's a light. The light means there's electricity in it. Now, same thing down here. Put it in, put it in. You see, there is no light, so there's no electricity going to it. I did a test, I turned the breaker on, and it still does not show anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the whole breaker to the entire house to be on the safe side. Because they don't have these breakers marked. Uh, there's one that goes to a hot water heater, one goes to a stove, and one goes to the dryer. Actually, I'll just throw those three. If I throw those three, we don't have no hot water, we don't have no stove. But I ain't got no electricity going to this plug-in, guaranteed. That's one way to be safe about it. Now, see this is the one I suspect is the dryer. Because I know one of these two is the stove. But I don't know which one of these is the stove. And I don't know which one of these is the hot water heater. It, the dryer is always a double breaker like this. The stove is always a double breaker, and so is the hot water heater, because so much electricity goes to it. If you have stuff that's big like a welder, a big welder, a big stick welder, it would go to a breaker like this too. So it's better off to play it safe than sorry, and just throw all the big breakers that could have possibly ran that particular item. And if you look closely, you see there's a screw right here. You've got to take it off to get the front of this off. And uh, you see how, how bad this thing has been melted down and awful. Between rotten wood, thin wood, uh, everything, and that was, screw was melted on. I wasn't able to get the front off. I had to literally use the hammer and pry it off and the piece of wood came out so I got a big old hole right here to fill in That's and the next step that you got to do you got to undo these screws like right here right here See these screws like here 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 so we can get the wire out can I remove the dishwasher? no wonder, no wonder this thing burned up Look how rusty and corroded it was. Thank the good Lord he was looking over us and we didn't get have the house burned down while we was asleep. Or, good thing we turn off our dryer when we leave. Amen. Always turn off your dryer when you yeah, leave the house. Yeah, it's on safe it on. Well, I'll take a little break from that plug-in. I've got it disassembled down to the wires. I need to get some... Uh, sandpaper or wire brush and clean off the burnt residue. Now you see how burnt it is? And how rusty it looks? I need to clean that off. Clean it off so that way when I connect it, it ain't gonna have no disc. Now how I cleaned off the uh, 
the wires as I use sandpaper. You use sandpaper, scrub it real good, get it nice and copper shiny. What I have to do is take this uh, bolt right here out. That way I can disconnect this. This that you need is a one fourth of an inch. And I'm going to put it on my socket. And take that off. Just to show you in a far view. There's where it's at. I have this off. I have to disconnect this, 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 and this. These uses a half, uh, I mean a quarter inch, or you could use a Phillips head, and this will be a quarter inch. Okay, since my old one was a four prong, I'm changing this main plug in from a four prong to a three prong, since that's what I bought. I couldn't remember. So whenever you hook these wires up, they're not color coded. So you see the direction this is? The, see the direction it is? It goes straight in here like so. And whenever you put it in there, it goes in order. You see how this is sitting in here? This one goes into this one just like that. And then this one. Then this one. Have this hooked up. Do not forget to run it through this hole when, before you hook it up to the to the dryer. Make sure it goes through here. Because remember, you got a panel that's going to go over it. Yeah, you can avoid taking the put putting the panel back on and just leave it as it is. Run it over this right here. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that unless you just don't have a panel. Now I've got the panel on. This is how you change just the plug-in. If you ever want to change it from a 3 to a 4 or from a 4 to a 3. Now let's get this wire over here cleaned up. Let's clean that wire up and clean this trash off that fell behind here as I was starting to work on it. <laughs> Fill in this hole best that I can. Got it hooked up. And as you see, red goes into one corner. This bare one right here is the black because I ran down and found that there was black under here. And then the white and the, what would be called the green is right here. So there, that's hooked up. Now I've got to put this cover back on. It just pops on and then screw that in. All right, I filled the hole up with great stuff. Uh, that's some pretty good insulation type stuff. I'm filling in holes and stuff. It'll continue to expand out and it'll fill more of the holes and cracks. And I mount it, my plug in up a little bit higher right here. And after that, I already checked it, and it's got power. And uh, we're going to plug it up, test it out before I hook this back up. If I don't record that, I apologize. But I'm going to be in a very tight spot. And won't be able to record that. All right. I've got this part right here hooked up. Like I said, I apologize. I can't show you how to hook that up. You just have to look that up if you don't know how to do it. It just slides on and you just tighten up that, the, whatever you call it. I'm too tired to even think right now. It's plugged up. All I got to do is slide it against the wall. I done already tested it out. Turn it on. Oh, I've got the breaker off. Mm. I got the breaker on. Like I said, I done tested it, but there you go. Purrs like a kit. <laughs> now to clean up this mess from the stuff that was behind it and under it and on top of it. Have a blessed day. And that's how you rewire a plug-in for a dryer 
and rewire the uh, uh, what dryer you call? hookup piece. And that's how you hook up a dryer port yep. or, or a dryer plug in something. So we're down there. God bless. Have a great oh, oh, day. Don't, don't forget to go to what's our YouTube channel name? Andrew Girl? No, not that no. number. The 14. God's 14. It'll be in the description below. You'll see me cooking, which turned out good. What's your name? Whoa. It's good, wasn't Bye. it? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi. To do this job, it only cost me around about 40 bucks for 40 45 dollars for the uh dryer outlet and the dryer plug-in you're changing the outlet this is what it's called the, the dryer mount dry, uh, sorry, the mount dryer outlet and you can get a four prong you don't have to get a three prong like i got Prices vary depending on where you live at, but for here, this part right here cost it me around $15, and the plug-in cost it me around about $25, I think. But anyways, like I said, around about $40, $45. Uh, that's about what I spent on to change this. Also, this is a very handy tool to have when you're messing with electricity. This right here at Walmart only cost it me, what, a, $4? Yeah, $4. $4. But this is South Carolina price, even if it costs you $6. What, like I showed you, demonstrated, it shows if you have electricity going to it or not. reason why it didn't show me on my dryer plug-in with it turned on that it had electricity is because of the fact it was so melted and burned out. There wasn't no electricity that I could, I, it wouldn't go deep enough to test it. So it didn't do me any good, so that's why I threw, threw all three breakers. Turned out I did have the right one originally, but hey, better safe than sorry. If you enjoyed this, uh, be sure and subscribe and follow me for more tips, some funny videos, some gospel music, some scripture, and many other and different stuff and, and me. I'm crazy cat and the monkey aurora and every once in a while i'll get my wife my beautiful wife ashley to get bombed <gasps> in what about me not choice <gasps> i done already said you but, but you have to <laughs> beautiful <laughs> But again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow and for enjoy. more awesome stuff. Enjoy. John Hub signing off. God bless. Have a wonderful day.